The carbon tax debate reached boiling point in Wollongong today when Senators Barnaby Joyce and Conchetta Fioravanti Wells spoke at the Crown Street Amphitheatre. Supporters of all sides of politics clashed in spectacular fashion. It was clear from the moment the Senators arrived, Illawarra residents were going to let them know how they felt about the carbon tax. Arthur Rorris of the South Coast Labor Council, the first to go head to head with the coalition figures. The steel boss has signed off, the workers are happy. Why are you trying to block the deal? What's the point of, what's the point of making people's life more dearer? Oh, it's not dearer. These people are waiting for their money. You're blocking it. Why would you, why would you put up the price? If you don't have a tax, you don't need compensation. These workers... Former South Coast Labor Council leader Paul Matters took up his fight with the Greens. These people are prepared to see jobs go in the coal industry and the steel industry. They support the Greens. The Greens want to close down the coal industry. You go Rod Brown didn't say that. Your leader did not say that. Once they took the stage, the senators were barely able to be heard over supporters of the tax, who were almost doubled in numbers to coalition supporters. Senator Joyce, who was both cheered and jeered by the crowd, continually voiced his concerns that the tax will do nothing besides push emissions offshore. How much is this tax going to cool the temperature of the globe by? Can anyone offer me a number? There must be someone out there who knows how much it's going to change the temperature of the globe by. Anybody on Greens, you should know. At one stage, it seemed tempers would flare between steelworkers and coalition supporters as Senator Fiera Vanti Wells left a lasting impression on the crowd. Shame! Shame! Now that the deal is done and we know that we can save the steel industry, why is the Liberal Party and the Coalition generally going to oppose this package when it's before Parliament? That's the question. Our position is vastly better for Poor O'Malley, for, for, for Blue Scope Steel and for the Illawarra. Paul Glover, Win News. A new report from Iris has revealed some interesting findings on local support for action on climate change. It shows many are willing to pay more for energy if it would help slow the climate change process. The Illawarra has become one of the epicentres of the carbon tax debate, though the latest poll shows many locals might not need too much convincing. Certainly Julie Gillard has stronger support across this region than what we're seeing in some of the national polls. A National Galaxy poll released today shows support for the PM is slipping, but locally we're bucking the trend. Of the 500 Wollongong residents surveyed by Iris, nearly half would prefer Julia Gillard over Tony Abbott. Experts believe her approval rating locally could rise even higher, with the details of the tax now released. I think people will start feeling a bit more comfortable that the carbon tax that's proposed at the moment uh, is something not as big as what they expected. Close to four out of five residents believe climate change is happening and half were willing to pay more for petrol, electricity and gas if it would help slow climate change caused by human activity. It'll be interesting to see how much more they're willing to pay, but certainly there is a, a sort of that uh, agreement that uh, things need to be done. Meanwhile, consumer sentiment has dropped to a two-year low. Spending on household items and travel fell, while three in five households thought it was a bad time to borrow money. Experts say the prospect of interest rates remaining stable or dropping will boost confidence. Now we've got the carbon tax on the table, the, the policy's there, we've seen the concessions that some of our major industries uh, will get. I think that also will provide a little bit more security for this region. Melissa Jaros, Win News.